Hey guys, back again. It's a 30 days of WrestleMania. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter uh, for WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And now uh, we're going through and reviewing and re-watching and enjoying all the WrestleManias in the lead up to WrestleMania 31 this year. Or whatever you caught this, it's all right. We, uh, we're uh, just kind of going back and, and, and checking out and, and just kind of reliving these kinds of things and getting some impressions, like just fresh in our minds. And uh, today we're looking at WrestleMania 21, WrestleMania... Whoop, Goes Hollywood. Um, this is really exciting. I love the promos leading in this. The takes on movies like When Harry Met Sally, uh, Braveheart, uh, uh, A Few Good Men were so, so fun. And they're, of course, I believe they're at the Staples Center. Uh, yeah, the Staples Center in Los Angeles, which became the home of SummerSlam for several years in a row. Um, it felt big. This is the year Hulk Hogan went in the Hall of Fame and had a surprise. And you got to see something like Muhammad Hassan and Eugene in, U- Eugene in the ring. Both awkward... Um, both very awkward uh, 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 presentations, um, very uh, you know gimmicks, and say like, "Wow, they really did that! They really did that, didn't they?" I have a whole another uh, talk about Muhammad Hassan. Uh, the unfortunate sumo match. Hmm. Uh, they got to try something, right? Something new, right? Um, this was the rise of John Cena and Batista. Winning their respective titles on SmackDown and Raw, we were, we were in the middle of the brand split at the time, um, but this was their rise. And 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 looking back, and it's amazing, especially over the past year, uh, to a time where they people were dead behind John Cena and Batista. They were like, "These are our new guys. Let's put them over the top." They were they were really your your Daniel Bryan's of the day. And, and I guess I do kind of miss. Um, that ruthless aggression, John Cena. I mean, he was kind of the thug. I mean, the year before, even though he was a good guy, he 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 be you know he, he's using the chain and, and everything. You know, it's like, hey guys, you know, Cena's not always been a good guy, good guy. You know, um, and, and I think it's important to remember that too when we're looking at the way he, uh, everybody's questioning his good guy behavior against Rusev these days. Um, but uh, still, really good, really fun. <laughs> the other fun part was, of course, um, um. Uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper and Stone Cold <laughs> connected here, um, and uh, I don't know a lot of a lot of fun, a whole lot of fun. Like, this is this is the, this is the year where they had the Hall of Fame and there was a Rose Gallery. It was like Hulk Hogan's in the Hall of Fame, and here's all the people he beat, <laughs> including Iron Sheik, Nikolai Volkov, stuff like that. Uh, it was very very fun, very interesting. Um, and uh, and like I say the, the rise of Batista, the rise of uh, uh, John Cena, um, and and also I believe the last WrestleMania appearance for Eddie Guerrero. I believe the next year, but he was in the Hall of Fame, uh, inducted by Chris Benoit actually. Um, and uh, a tremendous match. He was a tag team partner, you know. And they were getting these weird, awkward storylines with him at the time, and even leading up to his death, like there was this odd like. You know, you don't really know where it's coming from. The first ever Money in the Bank was at this show. The idea storm of Chris Jericho in storyline, at least. Um, and it was really interesting to see that kind of come together again. So uh, really, really loving this era of of, of WrestleMania. It really, like, it, 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 it's when WrestleMania kind of settles into a flow. Like, the WrestleMania of 21 is not too, too different than the WrestleMania of 31. I don't think, uh, in feel, size, scope. We don't really go back and forth from this point on um, to let's have these big ones, let's have these small ones. Um, this is where we're only a couple years away from the idea that everybody is jockeying to get WrestleMania like they get the Super Bowl as far as the cities go. Um and you kind of see why at this point. Let me know what you think. WrestleMania 21, WrestleMania Goes Hollywood. I'm excited. This is the first one that's not... This is the last one in my in WrestleMania DVD box set. Because they put that extra one in the cover. And, you know, under the box and everything. Um, so we're getting out of that, out of that. Those ones that I have seen more recently. And into ones that I haven't seen for a good bit. Uh, with WrestleMania 22 and on. I'm really glad I didn't go out. I was going to start buying the WrestleManias I was missing on DVD. I'm really glad I didn't do that now that they have WWE Network. <laughs> <laughs> I gladly paid that in comparison. So let me know what you think at Sorgatron on the Twitters, at Mayhem Show for the Wrestling Mayhem Show Twitter, and of course, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.
Bet.com.